inheritance is communicated and delivered through the word, I commend you to God and to the word of grace which is able to build you up and to give your own inheritance among them which are sanctified. So it's through the word we take delivery of what belongs to us in Christ. And this our visitation through the world will result in something profound in your life. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please you may be seated. Amen. For the fourth segment of the world this morning, I'd like it to be said. There are four segments, as our custom is, and each one will deliver its content to the full. And I'll share this testimony with you for a start to bring in the first person that will minister. That their first son was going to be born. I was studying Charles G. Finney Revival. I'm sure many of you have seen that book before. It's quite a volume. I was so engrossed in it that I forgot that my wife was in the hospital. And I'm telling you the truth in Christ. I was so lost in it. My heart was panting for an awakening. My heart was panting for a revival. I saw fire coming off from that man and his teachings. And then the morning the news arrived that God has blessed her with a male child. And I asked the Lord, what would this child be called? You know, I, I asked questions. That's why I don't like answers. He said, another warrior has come. Simple. Another warrior has come. Nobody bore that name in our entire family lineage. Nobody has ever borne it. And I had a very quick interpretation. Uluwa Makin Day. God has brought another warrior. Nobody has ever borne that, borne that name in our entire family lineage. It's not in the history of our people. And so, by virtue of the environment in which they grew, they began to pant after God. They began to pant after God. And today, it's my God-given grace and privilege to have my biological seed sharing the pulpit with me. And effectively so, insightfully so, and impactfully so. These are not man-made arrangements. This child is one day old. And I say, Jesus, what would this child be called? What shall be the name of this church? It's not the name we coined. From somewhere I just say, yes. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. I love details. I hate guesswork. And so I will sit down here and I'll be taking note. From a child that I knew the day he was born. Amen. Not, not just crippling things, but just looking at light coming from those teachings. 
Can I tell all my friends and co laborers here, don't call your children to ministry. You will be the one to back them up. God is the only chartered caller. Don't try it. It's not a family endeavor. It's not a business. In the sense of uh, uh, civil engineering and co. And so it's my honor this morning and God give him privilege. Please rise to your feet and welcome the resident pastor of the great tabernacle as he brings the word. the Lord. Let's lift our hands to heaven this morning. Father, we thank you today for the privilege and the blessing of being in your presence in this hour of visitation. By your word this morning, let each one of us be changed. Let each one of us be transformed. Grant each one of us a turnaround in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name. Give Jesus a big hand and please, you may be seated in his presence. Hallelujah. This morning I want to specially appreciate God and appreciate his servant, my father, for this privilege to stand upon this exalted altar. Whatever it is that we have seen as light, it is because in his light we have seen light. And for it, we give God all the glory. Thank you very much, sir. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. This morning, we are going to be going into God's word. We began very powerfully yesterday as God began to open our eyes in that night of encounter. And I believe that this morning... God will yet again show us light. We are looking at this teaching entitled Engaging the Prayer Altar for Turnaround Encounter.